guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a tree cutting system in Roblox Studio. Let's get into it. So the models in the description, and let's get started. So if I made the whole system in this video, the video would be like 30 minutes long. And I want to keep it short and simple for you guys. So this is what the system looks like. It takes 10 hits to break the tree down. There we go. Then the trunk gets unanchored and you can pick it up and it gives you one wood. So that's the system. And when I first made it, it was on the client side. So it'd be used for like first, like if you wanted like it to be a single player game, but I've recently made it server sided. So if you want your game to be like multiplayer, like if it's a multiplayer survival game, then it will now work with it. So I'm also going to show you that later in the video. So as you can see, the tree respawned and also your wood does save. So to enable data store, you got to go into your game settings, security and enable studio access to API services. This makes it so that you can get access to data stores. So I'm also going to show you how to make your own axe and how to use this with a custom tree. And I'm going to show you how to change the respawn time and how much hits it takes to actually break the tree down. So to change the respawn time, go into the respawn script and change the weight here to like 20 or however long you want. Now for the hits, go to the hits value, change this to what you want. I'll choose five. Then go into the hit handler and change this value here to five. Let's test it out and see if it worked. As you can see, our wood saves. One, two three, four, five, boom, it works. So there's that. And now I'm going to show you how to, um, yeah. So if you don't want the data store, I don't know why you wouldn't want it. Yeah. Let me just make a duplicate, get rid of this, then get rid of all of that. And then this stuff up top here, boom. So if you don't want data store, then that's the script. Let me just wait for this to finish editing. There we go. I can now delete it. So I'm going to show you how to make it make a custom tree with this. So get your tree. I'm just going to get a free model. Something like this. Let's just make that a bit smaller. There we go. Rename this to what you want. I'll just say tree because why not? And then get your different parts. What whatever parts are leaves, you have to rename them to leaves. And then whichever is like the trunk bit, you gotta rename that to trunk. It has to be spelt like that with a capital T and then leaves with a capital L, otherwise it will break the script. So copy over 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 everything. I'll just duplicate this tree. Copy everything over. Except for the parts. Paste it into. Go into the trunk, get the proximity prompt and the health GUI, paste it into your trunk. And for the GUI to show, click on the billboard GUI, change your Dorney, click it to your trunk and boom, it will appear. Now you can adjust how high you want it with these numbers. Hey guys, this is just a quick reminder. I forgot to put this in the video. I'm going to edit this in. But the animation for the X won't actually work because I made it. So you need to go to the avatar tab insert a rig then go to the animation editor click on your npc then rename to something like swing make your animation and after you're done you need to go here set animation priority to action then after that you need to publish the roblox and then by the creator you got to select who your game's under so i'm going to put a quick video up on the screen when you publish a game you're either going to choose your username or unless you like have saved it under a group you have to select that here. Then after that, submit it. Copy the ID here. Then you can delete the NPC. Go to the axe, the axe swing animation, and then paste the ID here. And that's that. So back to the video. Let's test it out. Here's the tree. Boom, 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 boom. It works. Then we can pick it up. And if you want it to give you more than one wood, 
go into the proximity prompt, then the script, change this number here to what you want, like 10, whatever. Next, I'm going to show you how to make like your own axe. So I'm just going to delete this tree and also uh, just the duplicate. Okay, so go to the axe that I've made, duplicate it. And I'm just going to rename this to stone axe. Um, you can make it what you want and then change like the mesh. Then inside, oops, inside the tree, duplicate the hit um, event. Then I'm going to rename this to stone hit. Then duplicate hit and change it to stone hit. I'm going to leave that as 5 and make the normal hit 10. Go back here. I'm just going to change this back to 10 because I changed it. Copy everything, paste it down here, change this here to stone hit, then here stone hits, uh, where else, down here stone hits, make sure you're choosing the int value not the, um, not the remote event, then change down here as well, stone hits, then change the value, 5. And in the stone axe, you got to change stuff in the swing handler. You have to change this to stone hit. Stone hit. And let's test it out. The wood saves as normal. Take the stone axe. Boom, 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 and boom. So the stone axe breaks it down in five hits. Let's wait for it to respawn. Now let's use the normal axe and it will take 10 hits and this will also work if you have multiple trees it's not just with one i just had one just to make it simple so if we duplicate it and test it we can use the normal axe on one of them it will take 10 then you can switch over to the stone for the other tree and boom it works so let me quickly show you how it looks with multiplayer okay here it is so we're going to break the tree down on this account. And when we go up to it, we can see it gets damaged. Boom. And the other player, if they want, they can steal the wood from them. And boom, we now have one wood. Now, if we go over here with the stone, break it down. Boom, now this player can also pick it up. And yeah, they respawn. So, that is it for today's video. Bye guys.